And a Dayton police plan that we told you about months ago is making downtown safer for you. The plan involved getting a pair of stores to stop selling single-serving bottles and cans of alcohol. Jordan Burgess tells us why officers believe it is making a big difference. As you head down 3rd and Main here, it isn't what you notice on the street, but what you don't notice. You walk down uh, downtown, 3rd Main area, you don't see anyone drinking like you did before, and it's really made a huge difference. And police say those changes are because of what you don't notice when you peek inside this cooler here at the Stop and Save, and that's single serving cans of alcohol. Only four or six packs are inside. In a private owned business and family owned business, uh, you, it, you tend to care more about the community and not much about the profit. And whatever benefits the community, uh, is you, you do your best effort to do that. And because of that cooperation, Stop and Save and CVS were given proclamations at Wednesday City Commission meeting. We're asked the city of Dayton thanks the management. The two were applauded for agreeing not to sell single serving bottles and cans of alcohol. Police say those single servings were popular among panhandlers and created problems. They'd bum a dollar fifty and then they'd go to the stores and they'd buy one and then you know they they they'd go out and bum another dollar fifty and this was an endless cycle and it really made our downtown environment look terrible and it made it feel unsafe. We did a quick sweep of 3rd and Main and didn't see any cases of people drinking downtown. Police think partnerships like the one they have with Stop and Save can help solve other issues as well. Today's society, there's only so much money, there's only so many resources, there's only so many police. So the only way that we're going to be able to go into the future is to work with businesses and individuals and organizations to make our city better. And that cooperation is something officers hope you will notice around town. Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.